Good morning. Just making my little girl uh, some brekkie tacos. She loves brekkie tacos. So anyway, this right here is oven roasted turkey breast, right? I paid 50 cents a package for this stuff. Um, and the reason why I paid 50 cents a package is because it was like two weeks to the, the uh, best before date that's on the package, right? But anyway, so what I do is I take this and I put this in the pan and I fry it up for a few seconds. Try to get it all spread out here. Try to get it all spread out. Doesn't matter if it sticks together. But uh, what I do is I fry this up for a few seconds. And then what I like to do depends on who's eating, right? So what I do is add the eggs. That's four scrambled eggs right there, right? Four of them, okay? And then I add two types of cheese and they go on ancient green tortilla um these are just the small ones there's eight in a package these actually cost me right now these are ridiculously priced um i usually pay about 99 cents a package for these they were a dollar 50 so you know they were a, a lot of money in my eyes but it's still cheaper than certain grocery stores charge up to five dollars here's a little cutting board i got with a kit from ukrainian tire for 14 bucks Anyway, so that's what I do. So it doesn't matter if this gets all mixed up in here at all. It does not matter whatsoever. And the reason why it doesn't matter is because it's just going into tortillas with cheese and the cheese will bind it all back together. But uh, I absolutely love these pans. Look, just love them. But that's what I do. And then uh, once this gets, it doesn't have to be fully cooked because these things, nothing sticks to these pans, right? Nothing, you see the stuff's just folding over, nothing sticks to them. So it doesn't have to be fully, fully, fully uh, cooked before you add the cheese. So you get that really, really good melty ooey gooeyness, ooey, ooey gooeyness. You uh, can basically add the cheese whenever you want. Because like I said, nothing sticks, that's mozzarella. That's pizza mozzarella, actually, and that stuff is, like, stringy, 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 and my daughter loves it. And then just a tiny bit of uh, marble. Tiny, tiny bit of marble. All right? So, anyway, that's how I make my daughter her brekkie tacos. And she loves them with ketchup. Got to be with ketchup. Right, Jewel? Yeah. Got to be with ketchup. So that's how I make her breakfast and uh, it only takes a few minutes, you know, and it's this, this few minutes a day that you take with your kids. They're never going to forget it. That's what I remember with my dad. Um, you know, he would uh, Sunday mornings, Sunday was the only day and Sunday mornings we used to cook breakfast or we'd go to a place called Old Country Market in London and uh, that place was amazing. The owner was Alex. And he would cook you, like, you couldn't beat the price. And you could literally get an extra order of toast with a Western and feed four growing men with the amount of uh, potatoes and stuff he put on the side. It was just absolutely amazing. And I miss, I miss restaurants like that where you used to go in and get more for your money than what, uh, what you get now. Because, uh, I don't know, I remember uh, when hamburgers like this the cheap basic hamburgers at uh burger king were a buck or um rotten run and ellie's they were a dollar there too right so look at that it's just that quick right just take these extra few minutes a day with your kids and stuff and uh my daughter helps me cook whenever i'm cooking she helps me cook we made muffins not too long ago we made cookies uh rice crispy squares she always helps me cook. But anyway, so what I'll do with this now 
is, look at that, that's just amazing looking. So I just take the uh, simple green uh, tortillas and I zap them in the microwave for about 15 seconds. Grab a plate, just jam them on a plate, right? And then, if you got one of these things, put it over top of your plate, like this, 15 seconds, right? So just put them in for 15 seconds there and uh, stir this up one more time. Look at that, the cheese, look at the cheese. What pan can you put cheese in like that? And it, it just in, adheres to the thing. You can't even tell there's cheese in there. I put a little extra cheese on top. That's why I don't use all of it uh, in one shot. But anyway, like this. Oh, we got about 30 seconds in, so we, we nuked them a little bit too, too long. But all we do is just put a little bit in here and then fold them up like this. And she'll eat two of these in the morning and it's so, so, so good. So, so good, especially on a really, really cold day. It's not too bad today. It's uh, only minus two Celsius, so, but I just fold them up like this and like this and like this for her. And she'll eat two or three of these and there's zero complaints, right? There's the rest in the pan there. There's enough to do probably about 10 of them. So really it cost me to do about 10 of these. They cost about 25 to 30 cents a piece um, to cook to cook them. Maybe maybe 40 cents. Um, Cause I, like I said, I paid a little extra for these. Um, the eggs were super, super cheap. Actually the eggs I ended up getting for free. So, but anyway, if you like what I put out, uh, like, share, subscribe and uh, We'll see you on the next one.